Hello, everybody. All right, so we're going to complete lesson 8.1 um, in this session. We're on page 209 of the sixth grade Go Math textbook for middle school. So let's go ahead and get started. Number eight, shade the grid to represent the ratio, then find the missing number. All right, well, <clears throat> we have 23 for every 50, right? So if you double the 23, we would have 46. Okay, so the missing number is 46 out of 100. And we can do that mathematically. 50 times 2 is 100. And 23 times 2 is 46. If you double 23, you get 23 plus 23, 46. All right, 11 twentieths. So for every 20 squares, we're going to shade 11. Well, there's five sets of 20 in that, so I'm going to shade 55. <clears throat> Again, 20 times 5 would be 100. And 11 times 5 is 55. All right, number 10. Mark wants to use a grid like the ones in exercise 1 and 2 to model the percent equivalent of the fractions, fraction 2 thirds. How many grid squares should he shade, and what percent would his model show? Well, 2 thirds. is a benchmark, and that is 66 and 2 thirds, if we converted it to out of 100. So he would shade 66 and 2 thirds squares, should be shaded. And so the percent is 66 and 2 thirds per hundred or per 100. Uh, so I'm sorry, 66 and two thirds percent or 66 and two thirds squares per 100. All right, number 11, the ratio of saves for a baseball pitcher to the number of save opportunities are given for three relief pitchers, nine tenths, four fifths, and 17 twenties. Write each ratio as a percent and order the percents from least to greatest. Well, nine tenths is equivalent to nine times 10%, so that's 90%. Four fifths is the same as four times one fifth, which is equal to four times 20%. So that would be 80%. And 17 twentieths, <clears throat> if we change that to 100, it would be five times 17 or 85. Five times 17 is 85. So 85 percent. And we have to write these in order from least to greatest. Well, the least percent is 80 percent. The second smallest is 85 percent. And the greatest is 90 percent. Okay, so the first two, I just used benchmarks. I knew that one tenth is 10 percent. And I have nine of them. So nine times 10, 90 percent. One fifth is a benchmark that is 20%. So I have four sets of them. So four times 20 is 80%. In 17 twentieths, I just multiplied by five to change it to 100. 17 times five is 85. So 85%. Number 12, circle the greater quantity. Okay, so one, I have one third and I have 50%. So they're not, they, they're not in the same comparison. One's a fraction, one's a percent. So I'm going to change the fraction into a percent. One third is 33 and one third percent compared to 50 percent well which one's greater 50 percent 30 percent 
of your minutes are used up. One fourth of your units are, met, met, uh, are used up. Again, one fourth is the same as 25%. So which one is a greater quantity? 30%. Explain how you could write 35% as the sum of the of two benchmark percents or as a multiple of a percent. Okay, so let's see. 25 plus 10%, right? So 25% plus 10% or as a multiple of a percent. Well, what is a factor of 35? 5, right? So as a multiple of a percent, it would be seven times 5%. <clears throat> right, number 15, use the percent model to find the missing percent. So we have 1 eighth, so let's shade 1 eighth. And we notice we have obviously eight sections because they're broken into eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighths. Eight, I mean, so we have one eighth times 100. So we have 100 over eight. Well, we can divide that to figure out how many, how much each eighth is worth. So we have a remainder of four. So we have 12 and four eighths, which is the same as 12 and a half. So it would be 12 and a half percent for each mark. Page 210. Number 10. <clears throat> I'm sorry, number 16. Carl buys songs and downloads them to his computer. The bar graph shows the numbers of each type of song he downloaded last year. What's the total number of songs Carl downloaded last year? Um, well, we have 15 plus 20 plus 5 plus 10. Well, I'm going to group those two and get 20. I'm going to group the 20 and 10 and get 30. And 20 plus 30 is 50. All right, so he has 50 songs. All right, what fraction of the songs were country? So country was 15 out of the 50. So I'm going to write the, each of these as a fraction and then give its equivalent. I'm going to write each fraction in simplest form and give its percent equivalent. So let's go country and then rock was 20 out of 50. Classical was 5 out of 50. And world music was 10 out of 50. <clears throat> okay, so if we simplify 15 50ths, we'd get 3 tenths. If we simplify 20 50ths by dividing by 10, we'd get 2 fifths. We simplify 5 fiftieths by dividing by a greatest common factor of 5, we'd get 1 tenth. And 10 fiftieths divide by a common factor of 10, we'd get 1 fifths. Okay, so 3 tenths would be 3 times 10%, or 30%. 2 fifths is the same as 2 times 20%. So that would be 40%. One tenth is one times 10%. And finally, one fifth would be one times 
20%. So what did we do? I, I wrote down from the bar graph, the fraction. So there was 15 out of 50 country music songs that he downloaded. We're going to divide by the greatest common factor to simplify it. So we get three temps. We know that temps is a benchmark. So I have three one temps. So three times 10%. And so I did similar things to each one. One fifth is a benchmark of 20%, one tenth, 10%, and one fifth is 20%. Okay. Number 17. Marcus bought a book booklet of tickets to use at the amusement park. He used 50% of the tickets on rides, a third of the tickets on video games and the rest of the tickets in the batting cage. He says he used 10% of the tickets in the batting cage. Do you agree and explain? Well, let's see. 50% plus one third. One third is a benchmark and that's 33 and one third percent. So He used 83 and one third percent of his tickets on rides and video games. Well, if I add 10% to that, that's only 93. So no, I don't agree. In fact, if you subtract that, it would actually be 16 and two thirds percent. So, no. Of the tickets in the batting cage. All right, number 18, let's look for a pattern. So we have one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five-fifths and six-fifths. And we know one-fifth is a benchmark of 20%. So if we just double it, that would be 40%. If you triple, 60%. And so we're just going to keep going, right? 20, 40, 60, 80%, 100%, 120%. Okay, so what is true when the numerator and denominator of the fraction are equal. Well, when the numerator and denominator are equal, it equals one whole or 100%. So the percent is equal to 100. Okay, what happens when the, the numerator is greater than the denominator? Well, then our percent is greater than 100. All right, and uh, in 18b, what is the percent equivalent to three halves? Use a pattern um, like the one in the table to support your answer. Okay, well, one half is equal to 50%. Two halves would equal 100%. Three halves would equal 150%. So three halves equals 150%. All right, so. That's it for understanding percent. In our next lesson, we're going to work with percents, fractions, and decimals. So until then, I will see you soon.